Yo what's up, Arta here and welcome to a new video and as you can tell by the title in this one we're going to talk about whether or not weapon variants should return in Black Ops 3. I'm of course going to give you my two cents on the topic but I would also very much like to know how you feel about this. So let me know in the comments down below whether or not you want weapon variants to return in the next Call of Duty title but also let me know why you do or do not want them to return. I would very much like to know how all of you feel about this and with that said let's get into the topic. Now for me it's of course a little bit different. I'm a content creator, you all know that I tend to post one or two videos every single day and I've been doing that for roughly three years now. And having weapon variants in the game has allowed me to really mix things up a little bit here and there because I can now cover elite weapon wagers, I can post elite weapon comparisons, I can post elite weapon showcase videos. If I want to I can cover underrated, enlisted and professional weapons because let's face it, in reality, nobody really cares about those just because they aren't elite weapons. So for me, having weapon variants in the game is great. In fact, it is fantastic. Because if I'm not mistaken, this time last year I already started posting things like a Road to Diamond again, or a Road to Gold, or a Road to Prestige, or something along those lines. Series that everybody posts every single year. And this time around, we don't have to do that. We can keep things fresh, just because there is a lot more content to basically post videos about. And of course, it also adds a whole lot of replayability. Let's be fair, every single one of us wants to speak easy. We all want the Obsidian Steed, the BAL 27 Inferno, the HBR 3 in Sand. If you're a sniper, you want the Doctor, the Silver Bullets. Why do we want these? Very simple. They are way better than the base fans. And don't tell me that they're only slightly better because in reality, having something like the Speak Easy is of course way better than having something like the ASM1 Magnitudes. So having these weapon variants in the game really gives you a reason to continue to play this game. It really has added a whole lot of replayability because like I said, it's all completely luck based. So at the end of the day, if you want to get all these really good elite weapons, you have to play a heck of a lot. In fact, I'm pretty sure that my average play time on Call of Duty has increased a whole lot ever since Advanced Warfare launched. And I already used to play Call of Duty way, way too much. I even play Call of Duty Ghost way too much. I have like 12 days on that game. Which is absolutely crazy considering that I complained about that game for roughly like 10 months or so. After that I pretty much just stopped playing that game altogether. But I still played that one a whole lot as well and I'm pretty sure that I'm already closing in on like 9 days played on Advanced Warfare. And we're not even halfway through this game is life cycle, at least the first year of this game is life cycle. And of course having these elite weapons also allows you to basically win gunfights a whole lot easier. Because like I said, they are a whole lot better. But this might also be the reason why it might be smarter not to have weapon variants return in the next Call of Duty title. Just because in a lot of situations, they are just a little unfair, right? Like, for instance, I have pretty good luck when it comes to getting elite weapons. I have the Speakeasy, I have the Insanity, I have the Inferno, I have so many of them. I think I have like 30 elite guns or something along those lines. And nowadays, I tend to pretty much always use an elite variant in every single video that I upload just because I can. And it's really that simple. I can and I know that I'm going to beat players who don't have weapons like this in one-on-one -on -one gunfights for the most part anyway. For an example, like I said, I have the Insanity, right? Now if I use the Insanity in a match of Team Deathmatch and one of my opponents is using, let's say, the Ace Barry 3 Average Joe, which is, I believe, the Marksman variant of the Ace Barry 3. So you get that one after getting 300 kills with any Ace Barry 3 variant just all together. Now the Average Joe deals more damage than the standard Ace Barry 3, but it still has the same fire rates. Whilst the HBR3 Insanity first off deals more damage than the standard HBR3, but it also has an increased fire rate. So logically speaking, if I'm using my Insanity, my opponent is using his Average Joe, we snap on target at the exact same time. I'm going to win that gunfight just because my variant is better than his variant. And it's safe to say that this isn't entirely fair. And this is also the main reason why I think that having weapon variants in the game might not be a fantastic idea to say the least. Like I really like the idea behind weapon variants. I really like the fact that I can post a wide variety of content just because there are weapon variants in this game. But it's not entirely fair. Now I'm not too sure if it is even possible for them to basically balance every single weapon variant in the game. I think that it's pretty much impossible just because if they don't make them a little bit more powerful then there's really no point for them even being in the game. Because they won't add anything to the game and because of that nobody would really care about them. So no one would play the game more often just to get all these variants. But they could of course change little things like the camo or something along those lines. I really care about the way that a gun looks. If a gun looks cool, I'm probably going to use it a little bit more often than if a gun looks absolutely horrible. 
But they could also change things like maybe the magazine size or the movement speeds. But as soon as they start changing things like damage or the accuracy or even so much the amount of time that it takes for the aim down the sights or the handling, if they do that, it makes certain variants a whole lot better or even so much worse than the base variants. And I think that that is a little unfair. But of course, like I said before, I personally do want them to return in Black Ops 3 just for the sake of me being able to post a whole lot of different content just because of them. If you think about it, if I'm not mistaken, at the moment there are like 70 different elite weapons in the game. And that is pretty much a month's worth of content for me, which is crazy. That is fantastic for me, but from a gameplay standpoint, it might not be the best thing in the world. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you think of all this. If you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be very much appreciated. If not, that's cool. If you want to, you can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook, Instagram. You can find all those links in the description. If there's something you would like me to talk about in a future video, definitely let me know. And with that said, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the potato parts. And I will catch you in the next one. Take it easy.